the Hull York Medical School offers a fresh, innovative and distinctive curriculum. It has all the energy and dynamism you would expect of a young medical school. The five-year programme is split into three phases. Phase one covers the first two years of the course. In your first two years, you're going to be based either in Hull or York. It sounds a bit bizarre, but you get the benefit from both universities' academic expertise because you're taught exactly in parallel, often by the same tutors, the same teachers. And we're taught exactly the same material at the same time by the same people. The course is meticulously planned, so each week the teaching is integrated and your learning is consolidated as you progress. Each week we have a theme of something to study and all our learning opportunities kind of fire off that so you'll have some lectures and some tutorials and some clinical placement which reflects that theme and that theme will return in your second year, third year and so on so you can build your knowledge and keep developing stuff that you learnt at the very beginning of the course right through to the end. In phase one, the academic week begins on a Thursday morning with a lecture. Lectures set the parameters of subject knowledge for the week. This week's learning is focused on diabetes. All lectures are delivered by clinical or academic experts who are also highly skilled tutors. HIMS tutors offer support and encouragement to students throughout their medical training. All students are a member of a problem-based learning group, which meets twice each week. There are nine or ten members and a tutor, who is a practising doctor, providing guidance and support. In today's session, students build their knowledge of diabetes by discussing a virtual patient called Sam. Students pool knowledge and form hypotheses to explain Sam's symptoms. They discuss issues raised and identify their own learning outcomes. The thing that I thought was really brilliant about the HIMSS course was that all the PBL tutors were frontline doctors working in the NHS, so they were able to discuss the problems with us from a perspective of a doctor who treats these patients with these conditions. And they could provide us with anecdotes, they could tell us maybe how this particular problem affected their practice, what they do to help patients with these conditions, and they just provided us some really amusing stories at times. In clinical skills sessions, students learn the basics of consultation and develop communication skills and examination techniques. Students can learn from mistakes in a classroom before testing their skills in a supervised clinical placement. Today, students learn to examine the eye for signs of diabetes. There are timetabled sessions for self-directed learning which helps students meet the outcomes agreed during the PBL session. There is an extensive range of electronic resources available on the virtual learning environment to support students' independent learning. Biopracticals are laboratory sessions. In this week's Biopractical, students learn how to undertake a blood glucose test and measure blood glucose over time. At the second weekly PBL session, students share and discuss the knowledge they have acquired individually and then link the learning back to the clinical problem and the virtual patient Sam. You have the same personal tutors all the way through a year. That's lovely because it gives you some continuity work-wise and also you can talk to them about anything and everything throughout that year and it's not just the personal tutors in your PBL group, it's, it's lecturers and other staff, you know that they're going to be there, so you know that you can send them off an email or talk to them on Blackboard and they'll always reply and they'll always be there. The clinical experience at the end of the week consolidates the knowledge and skills that students have learnt and developed. Here. Students work alongside doctors in their clinical setting and meet real patients. This week, students meet a real patient with diabetes. 
So a lot of medical schools will talk about this idea of early clinical placement and at HIMSS it means early. In the third week of study you go into clinical placement for the first time and you go back every week, in first year for half a day, in second year for a whole day a week. And each week you'll either be in secondary care in hospitals or specialist clinics or primary care with a general practitioner in the community and you meet patients who have real problems whose medical needs reflect what you've studied in that week and this helps you to kind of grow and develop as a medical student. The scholarship and special interest programme allow students to choose subjects that particularly interest them. All students have the opportunity to gain some laboratory experience and develop research skills with one of the world-class academic centres at HIMSS. Being a medical student at HIMSS means that you have to work hard, but there are also plenty of opportunities to have fun and engage in broader social activities. I think HIMSS is quite unique in that we're part of two universities, so you can take part in the student union activities in York and Hull, as well as the specific ones for the medical school itself. Phase 1 prepares students academically and professionally for the next stage in their medical training. I think the biggest thing that phase one does to prepare you for phase two is to teach you how to learn things yourself. It means that when you're in phase two, things come naturally to you. You go and do your own work. You know how to find resources. You know the things that you need to know and you know the things that you don't know. I think going on clinical placement early as well really helps. You're used to talking to people and it sounds like a silly thing, but talking to people all day, every day, can actually be really daunting and doing that all the way through phase one really helps you in phase two when you're doing it full time. We look forward to welcoming you to the first steps along your career path in medicine.